question reads like this. Ignoring the small elastic region, the true stress, true strain variation of a material beyond yielding follows the equation sigma t equal to 400 into epsilon t to the power of 0 0.3 megapascals. The engineering ultimate tensile strength value of this material is. Now, friends, when you concentrate on this, this question comes from the chapter on mechanical properties of materials. And you know that in, in the discussion on mechanical properties, we always focus con concentration not only to on elastic properties, but also on the permanent deformation region. This permanent deformation region uh, evaluation becomes important because we need to concentrate on condition for nicking and Holman equation. This is what we call as the Holman equation or the power law equation. Exactly on the basis of this equation, several times questions are appearing in the competitive examinations. So, we are invariably taking up that particular discussion now. Let us say, for example, that the question is saying that the relationship sigma t, let me write, true stress is equal to 400 into epsilon t, that is true strain raised to the power of 0 0.3. In this, we write sigma t is called as the true stress and epsilon t is known as true strain, right? And it is stated that uh, variation of the material, this true stress, true strain variation of the material beyond yielding, this, this particular relationship is valid only beyond yield stress but up to ultimate tensile stress. Now, question is what is the value of engineering ultimate tensile strength of the material? What is the engineering ultimate tensile strength of the material? This is the question asked. So, we need to know that exactly when you calculate ultimate tensile strength, at ultimate tensile strength point, what is going to happen? So, we write here an important observation that ultimate tensile strength at ultimate tensile strength at ultimate tensile strength at ultimate tensile strength there is a condition for nicking that is n is equal to epsilon t where n is known as strain hardening exponent n is known as the Strain hardening exponent. Strain hardening exponent. Now, if you see the generalized Holman equation, generalized Holman equation says, let me compare that here so that you can easily come to understanding. Generalized Holman equation says sigma t is equal to k into epsilon t raised to the power of n. Now, when you compare the generalized Holman equation with this given equation for the material, you are able to understand that k, which is a constant, is 400. n is called as the strain hardening exponent. Its value is 0 0.3. Right? Now, at ultimate tensile strength, this condition is going to become valid. Therefore, this must be given by 0 0.3. So, epsilon t is equal to 0 0.3. Hence, we write. Hence, True ultimate tensile strength, true ultimate tensile strength, true ultimate tensile strength is given by true ultimate tensile strength is given by sigma t u is equal to 400 into epsilon t value is same as n 0.3 raised to the power of n, n is also 0 0.3. Now, when you substitute this, you are going to get the answer for the true ultimate tensile strength as 278.74 mega Pascal. Now, once you have the true ultimate tensile strength, you need to convert it into engineering ultimate tensile strength. But how do you do that, sir? To convert True stress into engineering stress or true strength into engineering strength, you have one relationship in strength of materials. What does that relationship say? 
Okay, let me write here as a rough space you can take here and then write that true stress is equal to engineering stress into 1 plus engineering strain. Right? Now, what is that you know? You already know what is the true ultimate tensile strength. You are asked to find out what is the engineering ultimate tensile strength. But you don't know what is this 1 plus, e, 1 plus engineering strain. Its value is not known. Therefore, we are going for next evaluation. What is that? And true strain is equal to natural log of 1 plus engineering strain. What is the meaning of that here? This implies from here, from this, we, we write epsilon e is called as engineering strain. Epsilon e is known as the engineering strain. All right. So epsilon t is the true strain. Now, from here, what is that you can write? From here, you can write that 1 plus epsilon e is nothing but a small e raised to the power of epsilon t. Right? Now, let us try to go for this. Therefore, therefore, from here, what is that we can understand? 1 plus epsilon e, 1 plus engineering strain is equal to small e raised to the power of small e raised to the power of 0 0.3. That is what exactly we are going to write. Now, once we write it like this, right, we are going to get this as 1.35. This is the value of 1 plus engineering strain. Now, once we have this with us, we try to calculate engineering ultimate tensile strength. Therefore, engineering ultimate tensile strength, engineering ultimate tensile strength is equal to engineering ultimate tensile strength is sigma e u is equal to yes. We can write that from this relation. Can you write sigma sigma e is sigma t divided by 1 plus epsilon e? That is sigma t u divided by 1 plus engineering strain. Right? So when you calculate this, that is equal to what is the true strength we got? 278.74 megapascals is the true ultimate strength divided by 1 plus engineering strain at ultimate and size correspond to ultimate and size is 1.35 right so this gives us the answer 206.55 206.55 megapascals is the answer for this you are asked to report the answer rounded off to one decimal place right therefore here rounded off to one decimal place, you will write the answer 206.5 is the uh, megapascals is the answer for this particular question that was given in gate 2023 in mechanics engineering paper. Right. That is the answer for this question.